Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this particular session, we will discuss the differences between the two major data structures that are the arrays and linked lists. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. If you are a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now, Without further ado, let's get started with the agenda for today's session. So at first, we will discuss what exactly is an array data structure. Followed by that, we will understand the linked list data structure. Then we will understand the types of arrays. And after that, we will understand the types of linked list. And finally, we will learn the fundamental differences between arrays and linked list. So I hope I made myself clear with the agenda. Now let's get started with our first topic. So at first, what exactly is an array? So an array is a linear data structure that stores homogeneous data elements in a continuous form. So homogeneous in the sense, you will be able to store only one single data type of elements in an array. For example, consider that you have declared an array and you wanted to store some elements in the array. So you can declare a data type first, after that the name of the array and if you declared that the array should store integer data type, then you can only store integer elements in that particular data type. You cannot store any other data type like float or character. That is the meaning of this particular definition and it stores the elements in a continuous order that is in the adjacent format as you can see in the example here 10, 20, 30, 40 and which are located in the adjacent locations that are 0, 1, 2 and 3. Now let us understand what exactly is a linked list. So similar to array, even a linked list is a linear data structure. But the only difference is it is a dynamic data structure. Here you can increase or decrease the size of the linked list in runtime. The only difference is here the memory locations are not adjacent to each other but they are taken from the memory heap. So there is a huge memory chunk out of that the linked list will borrow some of the memory locations and one after the other the memory nodes will be interconnected using pointers. So that was the difference between array and linked list and similar to arrays even the linked list store homogeneous type of elements that is if you declare a linked list of float data type then you can only store float data type in it. You cannot store any other different data type like character or string. Now followed by that, let us understand the types of arrays. So basically we have three different types of arrays. Those are the one dimensional arrays and inside multi dimensional arrays we find two more types. Those are the two dimensional arrays and three dimensional arrays. Now, one dimensional arrays will be having only one subscript, that is, they'll be having only one single row. Whereas in the two dimensional arrays, we will be having two subscripts, that is, it will be having rows and columns. And in the three dimensional arrays, it will be having three subscripts, that is, the row, column, and the block address. Now, followed by the types of arrays, we will understand the types of linked lists. So similar to arrays, even linked lists are divided into three types. They are singly linked list, doubly linked list and circular linked list. The difference between them is a singly linked list will have two parts that is the node address and node element. In this particular segment, the element will be stored and in this particular second segment, the address that points to the next node will be saved. And similarly in the circular linked list, the only difference between the singly linked list and the circular linked list is at the end of the singly linked list, you can see a null pointer which indicates the end of the linked list. But in circular linked list, the address will not be null. Instead, it will point back to the head node. That is what which makes it as a circular typed singly linked list or a circular linked list. When it comes to the third type, that is the doubly linked list, we can see there are two address locations. The first starting node will have null as its first address location, then we'll store the element and the second address location will point to the next node. And you can see in the second node will have element and the first address location will point to the previous node and the second address location will point to the next node. And at the end, the second address location will be pointed as null, which indicates as the end of the linked list. 
Now that we know the types of linked list and arrays, we will look into the fundamental differences between arrays and linked lists. So the first fundamental differences between the arrays and linked list is, the array element can be accessed randomly using just the index values. But whereas random access is not possible in linked list, if you want to access any element in linked list, you need to perform the traverse operation sequentially. The second difference between the both is, array is static, which means memory size is fixed, which cannot be changed in runtime. But whereas in the linked list, the memory is dynamic, which means you can either shrink or expand the memory in runtime according to your requirements. Followed by that, the next difference is, each element in array is independent in nature. That is, you can access any element just by giving the index location. Whereas in linked list, the elements are interdependent on each other. Whenever you want to access a specific element, you need to go through the other elements or traverse through the other elements. Next one is, the array takes more time in operations like insertion and deletion. Whereas, linked list takes less time to perform the operations of insertion and deletion. Followed by that, the next difference is, accessing any element is faster in array as random access is possible and the array data structure just by using its index values. But whereas, accessing an element in linked list is slow because we know that we need to traverse through all the node elements to access a particular element. Now the next difference is, in case of an array, memory allocation is done in compile time. Whereas in linked list, the memory allocation is done during the runtime. Memory utilization is inefficient in an array as it is allocated as in static and it is allocated during the compile time. In case of linked list, the memory utilization is very efficient as the memory is allocated during the runtime. Now with that, we have come to an end of this tutorial where we have discussed what is an array and what is a linked list, their types and the fundamental differences between the both. If you have any queries regarding the topics covered in this session or if you feel that we have missed out on something, please let us know in the comment section below and we will be happy to receive all your comments and we will be happy to solve all your queries. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.